Hey guys, welcome to a new video. And welcome to a new theme song, an introduction for Amberlynn Reed. Underneath her right eye, it says baby. Underneath her left is a little black heart. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you can be disappointed on a regular basis by her. Okay, so I figured the first video of 2022 should definitely be a... BORING VIDEO! Start the new year off right. New year, new Amberlynn Reed. How many times have we had that? Um... Well, that's that's too easy of a joke. It's like, it definitely should be a boring video. Correct. Also, how about a juvenile and just plain stupid? She uh, put this one out there on January 1st of this year, 2022. And it's what my girlfriend and I got each other for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, Amberlynn Reed. She turned 31 after Christmas last year. And there's no... Emotional maturity. There's no adult sophistication. She's just treading water in, in a mud puddle of uh, childish banality. So let, let, let's let's get to what uh, you two dummies got each other for Christmas, which is also uh, even more ridiculous because your significant other is never on camera, and you've sort of got like a YouTube channel, and if she's not there, I mean. Why even bother yapping about it? Let's let, let's do this, Amberlynn. Come on. What I got for Christmas video, I have seen so many people do them this year. I love watching them. So I figured I would show you guys what I got for Christmas from my girlfriend. And then show you guys what I got for her for Christmas. I might actually show you what I got for her first. We have a guest star named Twinkie Star. Believe us, Amberlynn Reed, if your dog could drive, it would grab a hold of the car keys, get in the car, drive away, and you'd never see it again. So she's just going to be chilling. I have all my windows open, so she might be distracted because... It is one of the rare times that the dog gets away from the stench of your candles and your perfumes and your own personal old weird somebody's fat old aunt lady kind of stank. That's why the dog is distracted. It's like, oh, holy cow. I didn't know that we could clear the air here of all that schmutz. Whenever someone walks by, she likes to growl. She likes to bark. She thinks she's security dog. All right. She actually is security dog. It's going to make noise because it smells and hears better than you. If any weird thing gets close to the house, it's going to bark and let you know about it. At least Twinkie has a proper job to do and does it on a regular basis and doesn't promise that it's going to do it. Yeah, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll let you know if, if, if anybody's rustling around. No, no, I'll do it later. No, I, I promise. I'm sorry I didn't. No, she actually does it. Let's get into this. So the first thing I got for my girlfriend is a gaming chair. Obviously, I don't have that. So I am going to just post a picture of it. That is fantastic. So now we know that your so-called imaginary girlfriend is huge and she likes to sit around playing video games so much that you had to go get her a special chair for it. That's great. You know, it's, so uh, it, it, we're not expecting any changes from Amberlynn Reed uh, this year. Not anytime soon. Uh, m moving on, what else? Right here. Second thing I got her are these joggers. So I thought they were super cute. Keep filling your life with bric-a-brac and clutter. I I Amberlynn Reed lives by two sayings. Oh, that's so cute! And she gets it. And the other one is when it comes to food, Oh, mm, it's so good! That's it. She She's uh, like a, a walking embodiment of bad consumer choices. C what else you got now? C come on, do another item. Online? So I was like, okay. Okay. They look a little different in person. Really? They do, Amberlynn? Like, I go to some guitar channels, and sometimes they get a new guitar, and they show off the finish, and they say, well, you know, the camera doesn't do it justice because you can you can see, like, uh, different colors here when you move it around, and, you know, that's something special where you can say, well, you know, the camera's not doing it justice. When it comes to these pants, uh... Don't worry us about that, Amberlynn. It, it, it is what it is. We can see what it is just fine. It, it's, it's dull. But she still really liked them, so I'm excited to see them on her. I got her an Adidas sweater that looks like this. What do you mean it looks like this? That, what you have there, is the item. 
This is what it looks like, is what you say. Would you please get yourself, you know, some, some, some English lessons? You know, that would be a fun gift. A, an Adidas sweater. You know, how about you, you whittle it down to the items that would be interesting, you know? Uh, even folks that don't have money are not dreaming about a dang sweater. Uh, j oh, what else do you got? I got her a hat that says press. Back in the day, men who worked for newspapers in the United States used to wear fedoras with a really cool card in their hat that said press. And uh, that is not what, 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 what that is because it, it's missing one S. And on the other hand, like, what's that supposed to be? Is that like a short form for a president? If that was short form for a president, shouldn't it say prez? You know, I don't know what the heck it is. I, it's just, who would want a big, ugly, leather s hat to be sweaty in? It, uh, just get, get me the next item. On it, it just looks like this. And it is, like, leather... I just thought this was so freaking cute. So I really wanted to get her a cologne perfume type smell, but she doesn't really wear like girly smells. First world problems, Amber's got first world problems. She wants to get her girlfriend a cologne type smell and she doesn't really wear girly smells at the same time. At all. So after doing tons of research, I found, after reading reviews and stuff, Valentino, and I got it off a line, so I had no idea what it smelled like. I was so nervous. I was like, oh my god, what if she doesn't like it? This is what the bottle looks like. Great job, Amberlynn. Now you can torture your poor dog by adding another stink bomb to your dang house. And you guys, it smells incredible. Like, a poor dog is saying, why me? What did I do? Did I kill a guy, you know, sometime in the past, and I forgot about it? What did I do? What, 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 there she goes again doing that. What did I do? What, 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 what did I do? Make it make sense. Why does this keep happening to me? Why does she have to get new stink bombs for this place? Why? What did I do? I'm just gonna use some too. There's also a girl version of this and it's like in a pink bottle. So I might get it for me. I really do love manly smells as well. You do? Then try pouring beer all over yourself. At least it's natural and it won't torture the poor dog with all that unnatural shit you're always buying. Like, I totally would wear like cologne, but maybe with like one little spray of like Britney Spears perfume. What better way to say white trash than Britney Spears perfume? Heck, that stuff is dirt cheap even in Canada websites. Dang. You know, I'm actually really sad. I um, have been using this Gucci perfume for, it's been a minute now, and I officially ran out and it's just like super devastating to me. She runs out of some perfume and she says it's super devastating to her. It would be ridiculous if she said, yeah, I ran out of this perfume. It's devastating. That's, and then she's got to say, it's super devastating to me to run out of some perfume. So this is why I do not take her seriously when she says, I'm having depression right now. It's super strong. And, uh, and then she's laughing like two minutes later in, in the same video. Uh, you know, she's she got all kinds of money. And uh, she's just making all this up. Super devastating. You run out of a perfume. No, it is not. So I need to get me more of that, like, pronto. I also got her some Beats. These are the Studio Buds. Do you see why she has to stay heavy and keep falling off the wagon and keeps trolling? Because without it, what's she going to do? Just sit there and buy shit. Hey, look. Some uh, Studio Buds. Yes, and it is really boring. Next item, please, Amberlynn. Thanks. Twinkie hears someone outside. It's okay, baby girl. I promise. <laughs> She's also lost more weight, y'all. She's 13 pounds. So that means the dog is safe then. Because if there was a computer problem and your credit cards didn't work for an afternoon, the dog, because there's not enough meat on its bones, it would not be a temptation for your appetite if you didn't have anything else that you could go send out for on that day. 
So I guess that's a pretty good thing. Last thing I got her are some Jordans. I was super nervous. Like she loves shoes, collects them. She collects them. You get her some expensive Nike Air Jordans and she's just gonna leave them in the closet and say, those look cute. I can put them next to this and the other ones. Let, let me tell you how, how a guy handles a running shoes. I get them and I wear them until they make my feet hurt and then I throw them away. And, 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 and if I have them and they still have my feet feeling good and the rest of them are falling apart, I will keep them until the rest of them falls apart around the parts that are still feeling alright. Right? It becomes like a friend. Yeah, I, I use those things. And, 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 and you all, you treat them like uh, collector's items. That's just great. You, you, you get this over with. And she really loves Jordans. And I think Jordans are pretty freaking hot. So, um, okay. So now I'm going to show what she got for me. She is so thoughtful. Like, I... So that means she said, Amber Lynn, I want us to be together. And... I want us to stop invading the home we share together with a whole bunch of bric-a-brac and clutter. So I went and I got you a, a brand new juicer machine and some healthy recipes and a treadmill. And we're going to use it together. Or maybe she just got a bunch of consumer items which don't mean anything. Okay, just watch this. First, I'm going to show you what her family got me. Like, they literally did not have to give me anything. So, to entertain your constant misuse of the word literally, that means that you swore out an affidavit and had it delivered, served, rather, by a process server to your girlfriend and all significant members of her family, stating to them that they are not only not needed to get you anything you said you don't want anything and if they are going to get you anything you're going to take it as unwanted contact and you're going to try to pursue a criminal harassment charge against them if they were to get you anything that would be they literally don't have to get you anything but i also got them something i don't know it was kind of just like a cute little christmas gift exchange so what they got me black tie so this stuff is from bath and body works um black tie room spray which is one of my most favorite smells from there check out twinkie when amberlyn was saying that uh, she was just gifted with another bottle of stink bomb the dog's like you know what 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 did, what did i do is it not bad enough she buys them all herself now now others have got to start bringing them in here to torture me with is that it? here i'll play it again watch the dog black tie room spray which is one of my most favorite smells from there bubbly rose room spray as well and then two candles we have flannel which is one of my all-time faves and dark blue night which is one that i had never smelled before y'all do realize that that stuff is not made by bumblebees and forest elves right it's all chemical garbage you know after she sets it aside she's gonna say i'm obsessed with it she's always choosing strong words for things that it's just not not accurate to say and that's just one of the things that makes her channel infuriating is you just could you imagine trying to talk sense to her you know even for a little bit and i'm obsessed with it okay so now on to what she got me so as you guys know i have been highly obsessed with legos earlier Amberlynn said that she was super devastated because she ran into some perfume. And now she says she's highly obsessed with Lego. If she was obsessed with Lego, she'd be sitting in a couch made of Lego right now. If she was highly obsessed with Lego, she'd have her hair made out of Lego. Every time she, she speaks, it's just stupidity, 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 stupidity. And, and that carries over to serious things, like how serious she is about losing weight, any kind of mental health issues, and she applies that stupidity and exaggeration to everything. And there was this one Lego that I've been wanting for a while, but it was kind of sort of $400. Are we supposed to feel something for that? Uh, I mean, I, I, are you going to tug at our heartstrings? The Amberlynn Reed, in the middle of this pandemic, where, you know, the economy is suffering everywhere, and taxes are growing up, because 
uh, the governments have to keep spending and borrowing at interest, and we get hit with a hidden tax of inflation because of it. So there's suffering everywhere. And we're supposed to stop for a moment and feel something because Amberlynn Reed and all of her money and none of her work and just sitting around the house and enjoying food and buying things. I'm supposed to, and we're all supposed to feel something. Because you want to get a special Lego set and it's 400 bucks and, oh, I, I really want to get it. It was just a, a little bit expensive. Like what? As if, as if you, 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 you really want it, you, you wouldn't be allowed to have it? We're supposed to feel something for this? Let me guess, and she got it for you. Let, let, please share, Amberlynn. What a heartwarming story this is. And I couldn't really justify getting it currently because I am trying to save money. She got it for me. That is beautiful. I'm trying to hold myself together so I don't cry while I'm making this reaction. Have not been this inspired, touched by a story of that kind since Emmett Otter's Jug Band Christmas from quite a few years ago. Oh gosh, she, she managed to get it. For people who have money and um, they somehow tell a story like, they, they got what they wanted and they were, you know, they were in danger of not having what they wanted. She, she really wanted that. She just go ahead and have it. She's trying to get us to believe that some sort of special story took place here. That, well, I couldn't really get it. Because, what? Because you just, you found it to be a little too pricey. You're going to end up getting it in the next couple of months anyway. She got it for me. By the way, Emmett Otter's Jug Band Christmas is a really cute story about um, otters and beavers and and uh, uh there, there, there's a poor otter that, that wants to get a uh a musical instrument of some kind and they have to sell and lose everything to get it and i don't know i can't remember it all that that that's like a real inspiring story not this oh my god she's so heavy it is a piano you guys there's like a little stool i am so excited Oh, this is the heaviest, heaviest Lego I've ever had in my hands. There's 3,662 pieces. Those are 3,662 indicators that you have no adult responsibilities at the age of 31. I bet you all thought that I was going to make fun of her when she picked that thing up and said how heavy it was. Nope. I was waiting for her to say how many pieces it was. I'm not hating on somebody that likes their Lego. And I ain't jealous because she's got money for doing nothing on internet television except for eating. It, it, it just—I—I I, I wish that she wouldn't, you know, pretend to have uh, traumas going on in, in her life. You know, when 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 you can go uh, hunt down a a Lego project such as that. So I'm really excited to start that. It's just so thoughtful because it's like I mentioned that Lego set a couple months ago, just like in passing. We are all so very pleased that it worked out for you, Amberlynn, and you got exactly what you wanted just by mentioning something a little bit in passing to get it. We're, we're, we're all very much satisfied that you got what you wanted. And I also mentioned this exercising thing. She got the QB. And she tells a long, boring story about how she found it on the internet and how she's so amazed by it. You know, at the age of 31, she should know what a cheap exercise gadget is all about. And she don't, you know. You just you know, put it in front of her and she thinks it's just the, the most amazing th anything. Anyway, we don't need her long, boring story. Let's just get her lifting the thing up. There could have been a better way. There really could have, should have, would have been a better way. Oh my god, what is happening? So you put your feet on here and you go for a walk while you're sitting in your couch. It's really cool. It counts like your distance, the calories you burned, the strides you take. There's like levels to where you can make it like harder. So <sighs> right there in that same moment that the novelty wore off for you and for me, it also wore off for Amberlynn Reed too. You're never going to see that thing again. Now, that doesn't mean we can't have some fun with it right now. So, let's have her do a little bit of exercise for one minute. Okay? Let's do it. One minute weightlifting with the QB. Go!
the next thing she got me is a Polaroid with like a bunch of stuff that comes with it. We've already used the Polaroid. It is not a Polaroid. She's called it Polaroid twice already. It is a Fuji film in stacks. And uh, the, the Polaroid's got a long history. Here's a Polaroid from back in the day. I can do it better than you can. You can try. This is Polaroid's one step. You just press the button and the picture comes out. That's it? Yeah. Nothing about the motor? Nope. You never focus, you skip that. Why talk about what you don't do? And the sharp, clear SX-70 color develops in minutes. Nice, huh? Obvious and obvious. Well, you can't just say you press the button and the picture comes out. It's the world's simplest camera. Feeling threatened? Get the one step. And the Polaroid is still available to this very day in an updated form. So that makes Amberlynn even more stupid. So this is the Polaroid. It's an Instax Mini 9. And it came with this little bag to put it in. Look how cute. So many ridiculous consumer items. And always the same comment. It's so cute. It's so cute. It's so cute. It's so cute. I guess it's cute to be an idiot, too. And I already have it in here, of course. Like, literally, you just open it, and then, bam, you can, like, take a photo while it's in here. I think that's so neat. You know what else also does the same thing? The camera that you're using to shoot that video with. And then you can obviously make it longer with these. Got some extra film. It came with, like, stickers and stuff, so I can, like, scrapbook the photos, which is so freaking awesome because I've been really into scrapbooking lately. And then it came with lenses so I could do like close-up pictures and stuff, which I didn't even know that Polaroids had this. With a photo album, which I am so excited to use. I might put the Christmas photos in here actually. Little colorful picture frames. And then this is like one of those, I don't really know what you call it, but you can like put the pictures in these little squares. Fantastic. The entire thing is an environmental disaster. You already have plenty of cameras. They shoot video and still pictures too already. And then you like hang this on the wall so you have like the pictures hanging which is so cute. So the last thing she got me was like this painting date night kit which you- The dog is down! The dog is down! Amberlynn Reed has Bored Twinkie to a nap with her boredom stories of, of what she got and the girlfriend got. Hey, hey it, uh, yeah, well, it's going to end it here. And, and like, you know, she, she did that on the first and it took me a couple of days to, uh, to, to, to get, it, get it posted. Just today, January 3rd, Amberlynn did one where she's lying about she's going to do 100 days of weighing in. It's, and it's girlfriend's first New Year's kiss vlog. I'm going to show you the only thing that, that matters, a little bit of footage of the girlfriend. So, if you made it this far and you're disappointed how boring the material is, this is a little bonus item for you going all the way with this. I'm going to get this reaction done immediately. Here it is. Okay, so I want to do a little grocery haul. First grocery haul of 2022. That is my little grocery haul moment. In uploading every other day. So today is January 1st, day one of this 100 days of weighing in and my weight today, which you can see right here, 504.6 so this is day one so i'm super excited for 2022 i really want to focus on do not trust this at all she has wifey there and she could say hey wifey you don't have to be on camera just shoot the footage with me getting on the scale i get off it and then run in and then get to the scale and shoot the scale right after i'm done this doesn't prove anything on making this year all about weight loss like i feel like with weight loss it's gonna just change my whole attitude about life i feel like it's gonna give me more opportunities more happiness more freedom obviously it's gonna majorly help with mental health physical health etc etc so i do want to weigh 350 this year 
Um, I would love to reach 350 probably in like December. But let's talk about these 100 days. I'm thinking I could lose probably a good 50 pounds in the next 100 days. So that is my goal. I would love to lose 60, but we're just going to play it safe. And I'm going to say 50 in 100 days. I've, I That's my goal. Let's Let's do this thing. The reason why I didn't interrupt her when she was saying all that baloney is I wanted her to say it all. And make her full statement on weight loss. And uh, just so I could say that she's just, uh, you know, it's not funny anymore. You know, it's not like, you know, th th her cute little foibles to laugh at them and react to them. That is the point at which she shows herself to be a real dirty, mean liar. Because she simply lies. You know, it, 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 some folks try to figure out liars and try to put all kind of psychological tags on them. And uh, uh, which one is is, is is predominant? How about just a liar is a liar is a liar? How about that? And and uh, she's been doing this for more than eight years straight of a weight loss journey, and she's done nothing except for get bigger. And when when, when you give her a new year, she says the same thing. She simply just lies. And says that she's going to do this. And what this does is it trolls along the folks that believe in her, who are fools. And it drags them along a little bit more. Which means lots more money for her. And the other thing it do is it gets folks angry at her. And they show up and they tell her off and say you're, 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 you're going to fail and all the rest. And that also makes her a lot of money. What folks should do... With this monster and the other monster, Chantel, it's just pick a reaction channel that you like or start up a reaction channel yourself. I'm not the type of person to say, uh, go watch me or somebody else and, and stay away from these two devils, Amberlynn and Chantel. You can get into it too. Start a reaction channel yourself. That's the way to handle it, you know. It, it, some people are just, you know, they, they just do the same thing over and over. They lie and lie and lie and... and that's just that's just it. They, they they're just they're just bad people, and uh, so I wanted her to say all that and to say this. That was her saying that on January first, twenty twenty two, and I'm saying this here on the day I'm finishing this and gonna publish it on January third, twenty twenty two. That she's totally lying. She's not gonna make any of those goals, and she's certainly not gonna be doing no one hundred days straight of weighing in either. So that's it. Just, just, just garbage people. Just garbage people. Chantel and Amberlyn Reed. And um, I'm just gonna play the tiny little clips of her and wifey, and that's it. Tree hole to do. Uh, this is my girlfriend. Bye. Less than one minute left, folks. Like earlier when I said. Uh, when it comes to these two monsters, Chantel and Amberlynn Reed, what other word do you have for them? Because they lie all the time to get money from folks. Either pick a reaction channel or start one yourself. Remember this one too. Stop watching them. Stop making them money. Uh, do 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 that. And 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 uh, if you had a bit of fun here, uh, you know, please subscribe. And like, if you check the comments on my videos, the people really do like them. I get great reaction with the comments, and uh, I'm just not getting the push from the algorithm, so please subscribe, it, it does help it, and uh, uh, thanks for coming by, it is very much appreciated too.